Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make a super delicious curry of raw bananas. Raw bananas are full of iron and it's very healthy for us. And I am going to make it very delicious. It will be delicious with roti, chapati and boiled rice as well. At first, I have taken 3 bananas, peeled them off, chopped them into pieces and after that I washed them properly. You may keep them in water until you start to cook. And you may keep the size according to your wish, there is no problem. Here I have taken 1 inch of ginger, chopped it into pieces and 1 whole garlic and 2 medium sized tomatoes. We have to make a smooth paste with these 3 items. And here I have taken 3 medium sized onions finely chopped. We don't need to grind the onions, so chop them finely. Now let's grind these 3 things, uh, garlic, tomatoes and ginger into a smooth paste. And here is our smooth paste, it's ready. I didn't need any water while grinding, but you may use some water if needed. So let's keep it aside and go for the pan. At first we need to fry the bananas, so I am adding some cooking oil in the pan. Let's let the oil heat well and after that we need to add the bananas into the pan. I am spreading the oil in the pan nicely and now I am adding the bananas. The heat should be on medium to high and we need to fry them for about 5 to 6 minutes. They are done. Now I am taking them out into a plate. And in the same pan I am going to do all the process. So much oil is left in the pan. So in the same oil I am adding the tadka, half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, a pinch of asafoetida. You may add 2 to 3 bay leaves as well. All the tarkas are crackled well. And now we need to add the onions in the pan. We need to fry the onions on medium heat until a nice brown color. It has started to be brown now. So I am adding the uh, tomato, garlic and ginger paste. I am adding some water washing the mixer jar to avoid wastage. I am mixing a little and after that we need to add some powder spices. Half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, red chilli powder according to taste and 1 teaspoon of kanda lasun masala. It is a Maharashtrian spices mixture. If you don't have it then skip it easily, there is no problem. I am adding 1 teaspoon of it and half teaspoon of paprika powder for a brighter color and half teaspoon of garam masala. Mixing a little to avoid burn from the bottom and we need to add some salt according to taste. After mixing nicely, we need to cover the pan for some time on medium to low heat. In between, we need to uncover the pan and stir it nicely to avoid burn from the bottom. After about 5 to 6 minutes, the water is dried up and oil is released from the spices mixture. So now I am adding the bananas, those we fried previously. Mixing a little and after that we need to add some water for gravy. There is some oil in the plate, so I am washing the plate while adding water. Add the water quantity according to your wish, your choice, how much thick or thin you want your gravy. I am going to mix the curry well and after that I am going to cover the pan on medium heat until the veggies are cooked 100%. In between we need to uncover the pan of course and stir it nicely and check it. After about 10 minutes the veggies are cooked nicely. You can see. So it is almost done. Now at the end of this recipe we need to add some fresh coriander leaves. Half teaspoon of garam masala and one fourth teaspoon of sugar. This sugar will balance all the taste of the curry. Mixing the curry nicely and after that we need to boil the curry for another one minute on medium heat. So that the flavors of coriander leaves and garam masala are nicely mixed up with the curry. And after that our curry is ready. Let's turn the heat off and serve the curry hot.
So guys, you have seen that the recipe is very easy, but it's really very delicious. You may serve it with roti, chapati and boiled rice as well. It's amazingly delicious with all of them. So guys, try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.